Oh, go on then. Go, go on then, walk in front of the camera. Off you go. Thank you. Hello, you absolute legends. Welcome back to the channel. John here on a beautiful day in Lincolnshire. We're back with the 1949 Armstrong Sidley Lancaster. And in the previous video, we had a chat with Dad about the braking system, and he found a problem with one of the wheel cylinders on the off side, in that the bleed nipple, well, the thread had died and it was just spinning round and round and round and it wouldn't tighten up. That there potentially causing air to get into the system. Dad's ordered a repair kit, which we'll have a look at in just a moment's time. And in this video, we are aiming to do some proper old school air mechanicking to repair a wheel cylinder. Hello, good afternoon. Now then, young fella, my lad. How are you? I'm be better now, I've got some bits. Yeah, some parts have arrived. Just talk us through the parts that you've bought. Show us the parts that you've yes, bought. Yes, literally. Yes, I've bought. Yes, that you've Dad's, bought. Dad's bought. That you've bought. I owe you the money for it. So, what, first and foremost... I'm now part owner of an Armstrong Sidley. <laughs> what's this then? Uh, so I think that's brilliant if it works. We've got this bit, uh, which, uh, let's get it to focus there, is a new bleed nipple. And the way I can see that works is you've got this new sort of collet bit here. Mm, the new insert. The new insert that mm. goes into the old piece. You mm. drill it out and then put your new nipple in. I think so, son. That's the way it... So just just recap. This is the this is the old bleed yeah. nipple. Let's get that into focus. There, there it is, the old bleed nipple, um, and it was no good basically in the wheel cylinder. It was just turning round. Um, I can't use the phrase we use in a garage, but it's not very good. Look, yeah, it didn't work. What, why has that done that? I should think it's because I've been messing about with it for two years and somebody else has been messing about with it for two years yep. and the threads have finally died. It's just given up. Okay, so aside from buying a new wheel cylinder, which was 200 quid, you've taken that one apart. We can have a look if we look on the bench here at the components. Just talk us through the components of the, uh, the wheel cylinder. Spring in the middle, because these are a bit of a quaint sort of setup. Yeah. They don't actually have adjustments, so it tends to have a spring, so it keeps it in rubbing the drum all the time. Yeah. There's the piston, which is all... Pistons! Pistons! Which is all rubber grease. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I can now... I've... Grease rubber. You've brought some red rubber grease. Yeah, I'd got some. I was running out. I, what I did, when I stopped being a mechanic, I filled this tin up and thought, that'll keep me going for the rest of my <laughs> life, right? And you've run out. And then somebody started bringing me all these pre-loved cars. Yeah, well, people want to see it, you see. They want to see them repaired. Pre-loved. So, red rubber grease. If I was Alan Milliard, I'd go to my lathe and make one of these. You uh, keep banging on about Alan Milliard. Yeah, I watch Is he your hero? Watch him, folks. <laughs> Uh, what else is in there? He'd go to the lathe and he'd make this up and he'd measure it up. I've made one And he'd of say, these. I'm really pleased with that. He's it's fussy. He doesn't do dirty stuff in his shed. If he's doing dirty stuff, he goes outside in the garden. And <laughs> a bit like me, really, taking yeah, advice outside. Take stuff outside. I'm going to send him to get advice outside because he'll stand with his foot on stuff angle grinding it. You can send him a vice. Yeah, I think where is he, Nottingham based or something? I don't know like where he is, mate, no. Anyway, so what else have we got inside the wheel cylinder? Piston, spring, then... Uh, and we've got the seals, seals really. These are the discussed. original seals that was in it. Yep. We discussed them. We discussed them in the yeah, previous video. The new ones are disgusting. Exactly, just to recap, we bought some new ones and they were terrible. Yeah, tat. Uh, they were no good. Oh, and then you've bought this, which is... A new drill bit. Special drill bit, yeah. So why did you have to go out and buy a special... 21 64ths. You don't get one of them in your screw fix pack. So It's 8.3 mil. Right, okay. So you've got the NPT thread insert kit. Yeah. Ah, yes. and this CTR001. No, I'd already got one anyway. But bizarrely enough, in my middle of little sockets... Um, oh, yeah, nice. Middle of little... Tap set. The correct tap is in there. Oh, what in, in from a little one? I don't know why it's in with all these metric taps, but it is. No, Good. they must have known I wanted one of them. So we're going to repair this wheel cylinder. That's the plan. Oh, I bloody hope so, mate. Drill. So we've got to drill the old hole out. I'm yeah. guessing you're going to hold it in the vice. Uh, I think I might. I don't know what I'm going to do. Are you going to use a pillar drill? No, my pillar drill's a bit wonky. I'm going to use my hand drill. Uh, that so can be more gentle. Drill that out. Put the new insert in. No, tap it out. I'll oh, tap that out. Put the new insert in. Put the new bleed nipple in, put it on the car, jobs are good. That's it? Yep. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> oh. 
I'll leave it with you then. Yeah, crack on, grommet. Right, so let's do this. What's the plan? I'm going to take it out to eight first, I think, to see what's occurring. All right, so you're going to use a different drill bit first I'm and foremost. Going, I'm going to be mega cautious. Yep. And you can always, as you say, take it out, but you can't put it back in. I can't. I shall be really... Well, you'll be really gutted because you'll be buying a new flipping wheel I cylinder. I will be. I'll be spending my YouTube revenue on a wheel cylinder. So let's see what... This should come at 8.3 mil according to what the... Well, it says 8.25, 8.27, 8 8.32. So 21.64ths. Yeah. That's old time engineering. Alan Milliard works in old stuff like this. 21 sixty-fourths. How much was that drill bit? It was a lot of money. Seven pounds? It was four pounds something. Okay. It's a lot for one drill bit, but... Uh, It'll do the job. Right, so here's what, what's this, an eight mil? Well, it's supposed to be eight mil. It's coming up at seven point... No, it is 7.9. So we're going to whiz it out with this first, John. Yep. And I'm not going to do it in the pillar drill, because like I say... The pillar wonky. drill's a bit wonky. bit wonky. Yeah. Wonky! It's, it's a bit... Uh, I keep thinking about buying another one. Another pillar drill? Oh, a better one, yeah. Well, a proper, proper big one. Well, Floor standing pillar drill. No! <laughs> Too big. Can you get a pillar drill in the middle of Lidl? No, that one come from... What was that cheap supermarket? Well, this is tool tech. So, cheap Netto, is it Netto? That's it. No, oh, God, blimey, that's a long lot. Did they do them in, did they do pillar drills in Netto? Yeah, that's where that came from. Wow. But it's, I'll show you, look, it's... I think if I lived on Merseyside, I'd say it's, it's shite. You wouldn't want to be doing it very accurate with it. You watch that drill a bit. You can see it wobbly. Oh, yeah, it's wobbly, wobbly. It's just bent, isn't it? Well, no, it's somewhere in here. Yeah. I've had it all to bits to have a look to see why, but there's something wrong with that shaft. It's not good for precision engineering. It is not. Anyway, so you're going to use the hand drill? I am. Let's do it. So it'll either fix it or not fix it. Yeah. Or another word beginning with F. Yeah, you know. Let's be, let's be careful. I'm feeling very cautious. Alan Milliard would say. I'm really pleased with it. How much has Alan Milliard paid to sponsor this video today? <laughs> AI sitting while well, I'm waiting for his videos to come out. Don't really want it on hammer, do I? It's on slow. Good, isn't it? At what sort of depth do you want to be drilling? Yeah, till the stop. But it doesn't matter really, because this has got its own seat in it. Can you see? Oh, I see. It's sort of taking the original bleed nipple apparatus out of the equation. That's come up nice, hasn't it? Has it? Let's have a look. Ah. Uh -huh. Is that that's nice in your opinion, is it? Couldn't be worse, couldn't it? So what have you got there? This is a tap wrench and the... I'm just going to try the tap in the hole. Which is... But you haven't drilled it to the right size yet. No, I haven't. I'm just going to see what happens. That's nowhere near, is it? Righty-ho. More drilling! Right then, this is the tap it should be, the drill it should be. Okay, okay, here we go. So we should... Ah, bums. This isn't going very well, son. No, why is it grabbing? <laughs> because the drill bit's very sharp. It's going, but I don't like that to happen. That drill bit is sharper than your average drill bit. Yes, it's a good quality drill bit, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it is. Hence it was five quid. It's nearly to the bottom. Let's see if this tap fits now. Aha! Just. I might have to put a taper tap in. What you got there? Random taps. Oh, random taps. One eighth BSP, but it's a taper one. Let's have a look. What's that mean? 
It's a tapered end. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Random taps. Is it actually labelled up as random taps? On my bin it is. No, it's not. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah. Random taps. So it is. <laughs> oh, I can hear it going. Trouble is, I've not got much of a hole to go into. No. You're doing more engineering than I could. I like the fact that growing up, everything you ever built was over-engineered. We were discussing the other day when we used to go on holiday to Norfolk and go crab fishing. <laughs> Tell the people about the uh, crab fishing escapades. Oh. Well, I made a drop net, but it was industrial quality. So all the, all the young children would be on Chroma Pier with their crab lines and they could get, I don't know, maybe one or two crabs up off the, uh, off the pier a day. In, in Dad over-engineered a crab net. So it was like a metal ring, wasn't it? With a yeah. proper high industrial net on the bottom, lead weights at the bottom, and some proper industrial line, proper, proper high-quality tensile line. And mm. we used to just drop the net into the, into the sea off the pier filled with what did we used to put in it just any old meat and stuff on it fish and meat and all that sort of stuff and leave it and i think you just get 40 50 crabs at a no, time you get loads at a time though <laughs> well i get one when you can get several over engineered ex example part one here's the second one when we used to go kite flying oh that my special line um obviously on kites you used to get the grab handle plastic grab handle didn't you with with your twine and you developed some sort of, I don't know, spool? I, I made a spool, yeah, a big wooden spool. <laughs> big wooden it? spool on a stake that we used to just put into the ground. Uh, do you still have the uh, wooden spool? Do you still have the over I know you got panicky net? one day when the kite sort of disappeared into the clouds. <laughs> <laughs> Bring the kite back. So, so I'm used to having over-engineered stuff as a kid. Uh, so you've tapped that out. Now the instructions say, yep. ah yes, because this is a bit like a plumbing fitting. It's brass, is it? Yeah, but it's supposed to be tapered. Now the instructions say it's a good idea to lock tight it. Did you say I did wash it all out with brake cleaner? did with brake cleaner, yeah. Can you see it's got some sealant on it? Yes, and that the instructions red say, lock tight. Yeah, I want to know how far in it'll go. Before you lock tight it? No, what I'm trying to think is, my brain's working. That'll bottom out at 9.9. .9. It's more than 9.9 .9 anyway. Good. So that should go all the way in. Should work. So lock tight, please. But it is tapered, so it might tighten up. But they're mending calipers, so it says, but I was looking on eBay, you see, to, you know, I got this problem, and 9.79 there, 9.42 there. And this is lock tight, the... I'm not coming on again and again, Loctite. Oh, is it? Mm. What Loctite is that? 15 or something? Well, no, it's, it's a French one, actually. Loctite. So when, no, because loads of Renaults, the seat belts were coming undone. So there's a recall. So you're using Renault seat belt Loctite? Yeah. On, on the Armstrong Siddeley? Yeah. Here we go. <sighs> Mm. I wonder what size that is, John. I'm guessing it's probably... Metal. 10 mil. 8 mil. Let's go for that. Was I right? It's 12. Ah! Oh. I'm not panicking. Because the bugger's in, isn't it? That looks tight. It is, isn't it? Hooray! That's good, isn't it? That's done the job then, hasn't it? Let's just have a quick look at that before you put the bleed nipple in. So that is, oh, hang on a minute. So that is the new insert yes, mate. in the hole, which we've drilled out and tapped out. Yeah. Excellent. That's better, isn't it? Well, that's done the job, hasn't it? That's got us out of a sticky situation. Well, they're sold for calipers. So if you've got a messed up caliper. I'll do. I'll split the damn thing. Right. Now to put it back together. Well, in theory, I should let me Loctite set, but I'm not going to do. There we go. 
There's the repair. Bought two of these because yep. it was like five quid for two or eight quid for flipping. I mean, five quid for one or eight quid for two. So we've got one in case we need one. I'm guessing we're going to do the other side, are we? Not, not, not unnecessarily. Not unless we need it. Yeah, fair enough. Not unnecessarily. So no. the Loctite is now set. We did actually. No, it's... Well, it's going off. I now washed. to put it back together. I did wash it out, didn't I? Let's wash it uh, out Let's again. wash it out again. Right. Yeah, so now to reassemble it. Cleanliness is next to godliness when you're doing this. So you've got the red grease there. <sighs> Talk to me about that. What is it? What is it? I don't know. It's just proper rubber grease. It says here, red rubber grease can be put on rubber. Hmm. Looks tasty, tasty. Uh, very, I don't very know if it looks tasty. <laughs> tasty, tasty. Very, very tasty. Cleanliness with brakes. Cleanliness is important with brakes. So you're putting the red rubber grease. I am, I'm pushing some inside. All now. inside. Yeah. Not, not too much. These are strange wheel cylinders compared to modern cars. All oh, right, how come? In modern cars, the seal's usually part of, fitted to the piston. Pistons? Yeah. <laughs> As is usual, we say pistons. Put this in here, make sure you don't damage it. Put some grease on my piston. Put that in the hole. It goes in tapered edge first, because of course it's got to keep the fluid from coming out, hasn't it? Yep. And when your fluid pressure goes on it, you see, it expands it even more to increase the seal. Don't let me forget to put the spring in, will you, John? Don't, put, don't forget to put the spring in. <laughs> don't forget to put the spring in, Dad. Because not normal wheel cylinders don't have them. Why has that got a spring in? It's the self-adjusting mechanism. Oh, right. Because it pushes the shoes against the drum all the time. It's an Armstrong Siddeley thing. They're a bit quaint Armstrong yes. Siddeley's, aren't they? There's certain things we've found that if it was built on a Friday, it has different brake calipers or... No, they don't have any calipers on it at all. Well, you know what I mean? It, it was built on a specific day, it had different well, things. Well, it's the, is it the Armstrong Vickers Aircraft Company or something, was it? Uh, no, it was, uh, well, it's Armstrong Sid uh, Sidley, and then there was something else, wasn't there, before? I, you know, I can't remember, Whitworth, Sidley Whitworth, and all that sort of thing. But they were an aircraft company doing the war. Oh, yeah, they were aircraft, yeah. And that, my friends. So that's repaired it. It's done. It's back together. You made that look easy. It's taken us, what, it's 15 not, minutes? It's not earth shattering, is it? It's not... Uh, but it saved us 170 quid. Hopefully, son, hopefully. Right, so we... Uh, What's that? Does that need to go back in? Parts, parts. Let's put some copper slip on that. We're going to put it back on the car, my old mate. Oh, know. right. Oh, well, blimey. We're really doing a good job of it. So repair... <laughs> well, putting it back on the car. <laughs> well, that's the obvious place for it to go. I've done nothing but purchase flipping greases and stuff just recently. Flipping Getting it all right. ready so that I ain't got to battle past you every five seconds. To... <laughs> I'm not taking up that much room in the garage, mm, am the I? The production I crew know. gets in the way. The production crew, I'm I've seen, just going to do a 360. I've seen it on bangers and cash. Seen what on bangers and cash? The production crew getting in the way. Let's have a go, mate. Now, what did I file that down to? 11 sixteenths. That's 3 8 Whitworth. Funny how it sizes. Shall we put it together, Gromit? Yes. Yeah. Uh, so I've made a terrible mistake in life. Well, I thought it was the uh, near, the offside that was leaking, but clearly we've just repaired the one from the near side. So, um, yeah, I came well, round the here. The offside was having trouble. But you've repaired it. I came out here to get out of the way, and you've obviously uh, come not here. A, not a problem, Gromit, not a problem. Not a blooming problem, sir. Uh, yeah, put, yeah, put some carpet down, as people are shouting. Oh. <laughs> right. Bit tricky? It could be, yeah, it could be a bit tricky. So it goes through the back plate there. Yeah. Attaches to the back plate, just like we did on the uh, Smart 451. Yeah, it's the same blinking exactly setup. Exactly the really. same thing. And then obviously the uh, brake pipe connects up. It's a lot like the Smart 451, isn't it? When you think about it. Now that spring tends to hold them out all the time, which is a bit of a, a quaint setup. A bit of a nuisance, yeah. Well, isn't it? It's just not, it's not normal. Did I bring that spanner? Yeah, I did, didn't I? I'm here. No, no, you're not a spanner. You're <laughs> a valuable addition to the team. <laughs> I can make a cup of tea. In fact, normally I outsource tea making. 
I think the last time I had a cup of tea at your house, Mrs. JC made it. Exactly. This banjo thing here might be a big pain in the bum, actually. Banjo? Yeah. Banjo bolt? Yeah. That's what it needed. That sounded uh, promising. That's what it needed, son. Like I say, I think I might have some grizzling about that banjo. So explain to us what that is. That's a, it's called a banjo bolt. Yeah. And where does it go? It fits in the banjo. Aha! And you seen me the other day nail these washers, didn't you? I Cause, did. Because we ain't jolly well got any washers. They're special. Now then, I reckon that this is a bit tricky. It really is. It doesn't want to go in. Yeah, can't get it in for ball joint. Ah. So I've got to knock the wheel cylinder off a bit. Da. I knew it was going to be tricky. Uh, can you wander off to the toolbox and go into the top box? Yeah. And get me. There should be a William Super Slim 11 16 spanner. It'll be near the top, I think. Service cart. No, toolbox. Toolbox. Yeah, go across the toolbox. Uh, let, top second from second from the left. No, no, sorry. All the way to the left, second one down. 11 16 spanner. It'd be open ended. It says William Super Slim on it. I think I'm going to have to get up, aren't I? No. You're going to have to get up, mate. Yeah. Well, I did find a spanner, you but it did. was the wrong spanner. It's had a lot of wear on it. Go on then, tell me which spanner you want. When I was in my first year at college, I got the prize for getting the best exam results in the first year. Yeah. And I got a five pound tool voucher. Yeah. Have you bought this spanner? Well, no, I bought all the ones that's like that. A like full set of them. Full set of these? Yeah. Cool. So how long have you had them? Since I was 16. Since I was 16. Or maybe 17. I want the William Super Slim one because it hasn't had a lot of use. Which is typical. I haven't got it on the bench ever. I? I was using it. No, you know wonder you couldn't find it. William Super Slim. You found it. Where was it? It was in the wrong drawer. Aha, again. no wonder I couldn't find it. Right. Right. Let me come round here William and William Super Slim. But it's not had a lot of wear, this hand. So it don't. Uh, but if you think about it, this is fairly dangerous. Because this could easily. Gravity could undo that. Hey, grommet. That's not going anywhere. Now to bleed it. Look at that. So that's the, that's the new bleed nipple. Tiny. So I've tightened the bolts up for the wheel cylinder. Yeah, I did yep. that. Yeah, don't split that. Push. Make sure them's in there. Look, John Boy. Yeah. No, it's not in. There it is. Right, let's not lose anything. That's that. That's my little plug. These are a bit tricky to get the drums on. Because they do that all the time. Yeah. So you have to compress them one side. Well, they're just a bit annoying and you have to, you have to swear at them and then they go on. If it works, yeah. Just tighten that blade nipple up, would you? Just screw it up with your fingers. Don't overthink the bugger. Just created a vacuum behind it, didn't it? Some people will say you shouldn't use them. What's that, the brake pipe clamp? Yeah, some people who worked in brake pipe industry don't like to see them. So you're topping up the brake fluid. I am, son. There it is, topped up with the brake fluid reservoir in there. That is nearly all back together. What do you think to the repair kit? Well, if it doesn't leak, it's a good thing, isn't it? I'm guessing we're going to bleed the brakes. Yeah, just bleed this one. I'll, um, I'll come into here then and... Yeah, we need a lot doing. Sit in the old car. I've not lost a lot. 
Ooh, squeezed myself in. And you'll be near telling me how wonderful the brake pedal feels. I hope so, because it was all oh, the way to the... My pipe's a little bit... I wonder if I've got the other pipe smaller, isn't it? I ain't done mini brakes for years. This is the same size bleed nipple as what they have on an old classic mini. Oh. And they're tiny, baby. Tell me when. Yeah, well, tell me when. Tell me when, baby. Down. Oh, perfect. You've no need to stomp, just press it firmly up. Down. Up. Down. Uh, right, just pump the pedal a few times for a start. I think it's probably still bad, isn't it? No, it's nice and firm. And is that pedal a lot better than it's been for a long while? Certainly feels it, mate. Yeah. So what you're saying is it's better than the last time you drove it? Absolutely. Off. On. Off. So you think that's good, do you? Feels much better. I'm just going to give it one more bleed. So I'll wait for I certainly way. can't push it all the way to the floor no, like I did. No, it has got a problem, son. Well, there it is then. Um, pretty much done. Brake cylinder repaired. Yeah. Thanks to that repair kit. And actually, I'm going to put a link in the description below to where you got that from, from eBay. Yeah. So uh, it could get other people out the shtick. What do you reckon? Oh, well, I've never seen them before, but I'm impressed with it. Yeah, I really am. I... <laughs> It's I'm, not a bodge either, is it? It's a good repair. I've made something similar myself, myself with my fingers, but uh, not, what's the point of making something when you can do it all? So that came from Frentech Braking. They were $8.99 for two. They are classed as brake caliper, bleed nipple thread repair inserts, um, and then the standard bleed screws. Good. Yeah, what I've done myself in the past because I've got one of the little tiny mini bleed nipples and I've got an Allen bolt and it's a set screw one, cut it off and drilled through all the way through, then drilled in and put a seat in it and sort of made one of them inserts myself. But, but what's the point when you've got a special made thing that's perfect? Got a special thing for 4 .99. Good. Yeah. You enjoyed that? Enjoyed that little bit of engineering? We've learned something, haven't we? Good. In theory, the brakes now should be much better. We've just bled the brakes and they seem much you better. You said the pedal's better, didn't you? What's left to do on the Armstrong Sidley? A bit of messing about with track end boots. Yep. And then another uh, test mm, drive. I'm going to have a look at that axle to see why it's leaking. Yep. But it's not leaking from where I mended it, it's leaking from somewhere else. And then... Oh yes, and somebody's going to get me some 140 gear oil for topping the steering box up. Good. Thank you for that. Thank you, I enjoyed that. There you have it then, wheel cylinder repaired and actually didn't go as bad as I was expecting. The drilling out side of things uh, and making that hole a little bit bigger, a bit hairy for a moment, but held uh, nice and safe, it did do the job. Putting the insert in, easy peasy, and then it was a case of tapping it out and putting in the new piece. If you've enjoyed this video, thumbs up please. If you haven't already done so, we didn't really achieve much other than a bit of engineering. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. Comment down below, what do you think we should do next on the Armstrong Sidley? I'm sure Dad is going to try and do some sort of work, as he mentioned, to do with getting it running a little bit better. Till next time, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. As ever, thank you for watching this video. Dad and I have selected a couple more videos for you that we think that you might like. They're here 